I'm gonna show you the absolute best way to copy an old course into one of your new courses. And we're gonna do that with my Math 200 class. Also then gonna show you how to do a batch edit on all of your assignment dates. We're gonna update all of the dates that we can initially. Then we'll batch edit the ones that are remaining. And then finally, I've got this really, really great tip that most teachers don't know about. So let's go ahead and dive in by clicking on my Math 200 class. So I'm just gonna enter this class and it's not been published. It's completely empty right now. And I'm gonna start by clicking over on the right-hand side. I'm gonna click that import existing content. And it's gonna give me um, this message. And then it says select content type. If I click that down arrow, there's a lot to choose from. I wanna copy my Canvas course from last year. So I'm gonna choose copy a Canvas course. I know what quarter I taught that in and it was spring 25. So I know I'm looking for something that has S25 and here it is Math 200 spring 25. That's perfect. Um, I do wanna do all content. Now I spent several hours the other day, I was actually avoiding grading some student projects. So I spent several hours instead importing several different times to come up with the very best way to do this. And I found that doing all content is the best, but I'm just gonna copy it all over. Um, I'm not gonna bother converting any content to new quizzes, but I absolutely want to adjust events and due dates. This is a huge time saver right here. Let's go ahead and click on adjust those dates. Um, I do wanna shift dates. I don't worry about the beginning date. I just know that I wanna change it to the start of the quarter, which is September 22nd, um, 2025. And I also don't worry about the ending date. So I'm gonna change that date only. And now I've got it added to the import queue. Now it's gonna take several minutes. So we'll come back when it's all finished. And we're all done. That only took about six minutes. So let's check and see what we've got. Now, the first thing that I like to do so I don't forget is to unpublish all of my modules. So I'm gonna click on modules and up at the top, here it is up at the top. So you've got that publish all. There's a drop down. So we are gonna choose unpublish all modules and items. This gives us a really nice clean slate. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And it will take again just a few moments. Now I've got a lot of things to update for sure for my new term, but as I scroll down here, what I really wanna do is to make sure that I've got the correct due dates. I actually have two great ways to show you how to easily change your course dates. One is gonna be in assignments with the batch edit and the other one's gonna be in the calendar. Let's go ahead and start in assignments. Um, I love this tool. Okay, so scrolling down over on the left, I'm looking for my assignments and I can click that. From here, I'm gonna click the three dots in the upper right hand corner. So clicking those three dots, I want edit assignment dates. And what I really wanna do, I don't wanna just batch edit all of the dates. Notice how some of them moved and some of them didn't. So instead I'm gonna select it by a date range. So I wanna go from, um, you know, what would that be? It would be like January 1st. And then let's go until, I mean like August 1st, right? So I had some things that were already in September. And then I've got this getting started quiz, which is due um, April 1st, but I know that my quarter starts on September 22nd. So I wanna shift April 1st to September 22nd. Now that's a lot for my brain to think through. So instead, I'm just gonna ask Google how many days. Okay, and Google comes up with 174 days. Okay, thank you, Google. Now I haven't yet selected those that are in the range. I'm gonna hit apply. So I've got just those selected and you can see that we've got just that one check mark, but I wanna show you how to do this. I'm gonna do a batch edit and I wanna shift that date 174 days. So 174 days, and then I'm gonna confirm to shift those dates. So now I've got everything at least within striking distance, which means I can do the other changes in the calendar, which is my other favorite way to do this. Okay, so just scrolling through, I'm just seeing September's, October's, November's, and December's, that looks great. Next, we're gonna go over to our course calendar. So over here on the left-hand side in your global navigation, we're gonna click on calendar. I'm gonna choose that Math 200 for the fall, and I'm gonna unselect my other calendar. 
Um, let's see, so I'm in August. Let me forward here to September. Um, this class is blue, so everything for this class is gonna be in blue. And I've got this homework 2A. So this is where I just can start moving things around. So this homework 1A, I want that one to go here. 2A, I want it to go, oops, 2A is gonna be the following week. Actually, 1A goes here. And this is probably 1B, that works. Um, homework three is gonna go into the following month. And then this one is probably 2B, that one is homework 2B. Let me move this one out of the way. And I'm gonna move this one here. That meet your classmates discussion board, I want that one to live here. And I can just continue to do this. My classes are set up so that everything is due on a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday. And then I can continue here into October. The other thing that you can do now is you can use a batch edit, seeing that everything is off by about a week. You can do one of those batch edits again, select that date range, and just bump everything up by seven days. So assignments, three dots, and then edit assignment dates, such a powerful tool. There's one tip I almost forgot to share with you and that's validating your course links. I try and make this part of my new course setup each time, but sometimes I forget. So to do that, we're gonna actually go from the dashboard here, we're gonna go to settings. So at the very, very bottom of that course navigation, we're gonna choose settings. And then on the right hand side, up pops up this validate links in content. I'm gonna go ahead and start that link validation and it will go through and find any broken links for me. Now mine found a ton because of my unpublished content. So I'm gonna uncheck this, show links to unpublished content. And now I know exactly which links I need to work on. Let's head back to that dashboard. And finally, I wanna show you that really, really great tip. Honestly, it's like my favorite Canvas hidden feature. And that's how to copy an individual item from one class to another. Now you can certainly use that import feature and then choose the select specific content, the one that we didn't choose. But this is a much easier way to go for individual items. I'm gonna open up my current course and I wanna transfer over something from the module. So clicking here on modules. Um, I wanna go up here to my getting started module and I want to transfer over the required CI84 information. That has been updated, so I wanna transfer that to my new course. Um, all I've gotta do is to go over here and click on the three dots and then we are going to choose this copy to feature. Trust me, this is life changing. <laughs> Copy to, I'm gonna click on that, and I wanna copy that one to um, my Math 200. So I'm just gonna look for Fall 25. Uh, math 200, there it is, to Fall 25. It even says, which module do you want this in? Okay, if I have a getting started module, that would be perfect. Getting started, number one, that's perfect. Um, at the top, at the bottom, I'm just gonna put it at the bottom for now and then I can move it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click copy. So a really great fast way to get items from one class to another. I'd love to know how you transfer your information from one term to the next. Go ahead and put that down in the comments below. In the meantime, I've got a video for you here. I'm gonna get back to work.